We're here at the Tribeca Film Festival speaking with... Julia von Heitz, director of the film Treasure, starring Lena Dunham and Stephen Fry. Wonderful. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Uh, fascinating film uh, and a very amazing book. We just concluded speaking with the author of the, of the book. Um, tell me a little bit about how you connected with the author uh, in order to, to make this movie. What was your relationship like? Mm, I contacted her on Facebook. I was procrastinating on another script when I saw she's on Facebook, she popped up, I was a huge fan and so I just wrote to her because I had like nothing else to do and I just tried it. I said, what can I lose? Probably she won't read it, probably she won't answer, so let me just write to her. Okay. And she did answer. Three days later, okay. she sent me the email address of her agent and wow. it went from there. Oh, it went from there. Cool. So, <laughs> Did you feel a personal connection to the material itself uh, that the book is about for this film? Yes. And tell me a little bit more about that. Yes, my mother, she's born in the exact same year like Lily in 1946. Yeah. And my mother's father was a Holocaust survivor. He was what they said half Jewish because that uh, with a, a Jewish mother and a not non-Jewish um, uh, father, father Jewish exactly mother. and um, he survived and never talked about it he survived under all the aggressors uh, he lived with all the aggressors in the 1950s 60s 70s 80s in Germany when no one talked about it and that was a trauma and it's only now that we know that term about the transgenerational trauma but we clearly had this in our family and I mean, Lily, she's the first voice of the second generation, at least the first voice that I had heard of. And so I think my mother, she identified with her and that's why she bought all her books whenever there was a new one yes. and passed them to me, gave them to me and I fell in love yes. to that special mix from drama and humor. She's amazing. Yeah, I, we love the conversation that we had with her. Um, why does the world need to see this film right now more than ever? <laughs> there are voices from so many sides, I can speak from a German perspective, who ask, aren't we over it? Do we really need to focus on that single event? From the right-wing party, it's people questioning, can't we uh, tell more positive stories about the German history? And from the, I would say, more progressive side, it's, are we doing this to defend Israel, maybe? So it comes from every side. And I feel, no, we don't need to do, decide to either tell this story or that. We have place for all of it and we have to tell the stories because still the memory culture in Germany, it was only from the state. The families didn't talk. We are not at all over it and we need to tell the stories. So we're here for the premiere of Treasure. Tell me a little about what you loved most when you worked on this film. Well, <laughs> What I loved most was Lena Dunham. She, she, we, we fell in love with each other. She's an amazing person. She plays my daughter in the film. And uh, we got on so well, so instantly. And she's an incredible talent. But also our director, Julia von Heinz. But ultimately, it was the story, of course. It just the character that I played, whose name is Edek, um, he, he leapt off the page to me in, in a way that very rarely happens. And it had a personal connection. It reminded me of my grandfather who died when I was very young but I remember very clearly and had a similar kind of almost comic zest for life and, and an ability in the most embarrassing way to talk to strangers. <laughs> if you got out of the car to walk somewhere you thought where's grandpa gone and then suddenly he's going hi it's lovely to meet you of art is here and you're going stop it don't you know if you're English in particular behavior like that yeah. and he's that kind of, and and it is a um, Primarily, it seems to be a comedy of of, of relationship of the of the almost comic relationship between a father and daughter who don't understand each other. But of course, it's against a background of a of a history and a, a, a discoveries that are very dark. But but nonetheless, it's about about them. That's wonderful. Do you have a question? Thank you so much. Um, what's one thing we could take away from this beautiful movie called Treasure? Well, I hope it is that history happens to ordinary people. History may be driven by maniacs and generals and politicians and tyrants uh, and of course they get all our attention but you know we are the uh, we, we are the little bits tossed around on the waves of history and, and we matter, our families matter, their experience matters and remembering their experience matters whatever kind it is and uh, 
We need to know that now, in particular, as the world veers towards seven distinct existential <laughs> crises, whether they're technological or, or political or climatic. <laughs> There's a good reason to remember that people who run history are not the people who experience history, but you know, we should remember the little people. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. So tell me, since you're the author of this book, tell me about your inspiration for writing the book. Well, the inspiration for writing the book, which is more or less a true story, you know, um, was really um, that the catastrophic consequences of hatred um, is a very, it's a very important thing for people to understand. Both of my parents were imprisoned in Nazi death camps and they my, father, my mother had four brothers, three sisters, a mother and father, aunts, uncles, cousins, nephews and nieces. They were all murdered. But both of my parents insisted that I never hate anybody and that I trust human beings and that I had to be a good person. So I'm six years old, you know, we were refugees to Australia, I'm six years old and I'm walking along to school wondering, am I a good enough person? You know, and, and this movie is, it's very funny, it's got hilarious moments in it and the love between the father and the daughter is palpable and it also has some fairly serious scenes sure. that are important. Sure. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you're able to experience the night and celebrate with the other filmmakers that are here. Uh, in closing, is there like anything you'd like to say to Tribeca for the official selection of your film, of, of the film this year? Oh, I would say thank you nine million trillion times because the, Tribeca does a most fabulous, fabulous job. You know, I, and I'm so, I feel so lucky to be part of it. Really lucky.